What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Bloop. We back downstairs at the um, How to Grouse Stoke Christmas 11th Annual. We're at the Historic Warfield Theater in Austin. Powers. Powers. His name is Austin and his last name is not Powers, but uh, I gave him the nickname to Powers. Uh, tell him who you are and what you do. Uh, I'm Powers, uh, tour manager and sound guy. Tour manager and sound guy. Uh, who have you worked with? YG, Brother Ali, Brock Hampton, and I'm about to work with Tyler, the creator. Boom. Oh, you're forgetting somebody. And the Grouch and 3.0, obviously. Obviously. Uh, and who else? Who else? Uh, DJ DJ Fresh. The fuck the world's fresh is? Tour, man. He's on the tour. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how long have... Okay, DJ Billy's as well. Uh, how long have you been doing what you're doing? Uh, professionally, about five years now, but I started, you know, when I was in high school, like 17, just fucking around with shit, you know. Did you ever... Are you a musician? Do you have aspirations to make music? Yeah, I, uh, I play keys. I'm in a couple bands. I've got some songs on TV and shit. Oh, sh oh, this nigga just started flexing on niggas and shit. Well, okay, since you're going to bring up your shit on TV, what's on TV? Uh, my band, Moving Parts, we got a couple songs on MTV and a couple songs on HBO. Like that. You wish y'all did. You struggle musicians. You all weak ass struggle niggas. Hey, listen, bro. Um, sound is very important. And there's a lot of niggas that, like, do music and work on music that really should, like, stop making music and um, concentrate on, like, helping music sound better. Do you agree? I agree 100%. You can't all be stars, you know? That part. <laughs> but look, um, yeah, exactly. And who better to, you know, work on the aspect of sound and making things sound great live other than someone who actually has been an artist himself, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know how it feels for bo from both perspectives. You can work with anybody. People don't understand how important it is. You know, you understand from both perspectives, and therefore you're able to do it. And um, people don't understand his job is so important to being a professional touring um, artist. You need to have someone with you that understands you and has your thing on lock, has your... Um, your best interest night and not night out because i i've done many many of tour where you sh you pull up and it might be a guy who's like getting like 50 to 100 bucks a night to do sound and don't like the kind of music that you're doing um you know about that right oh yeah absolutely i mean any uh you know house tech for you know small mid-level clubs they don't give a shit they don't give a shit about the shit you're doing and you're trying to like um do the shit you love, you know? And you pull up and um I even had a recent thing myself, not to talk, but this is what I do on the show. I talk sometimes. I go, um, this guy he pulls out, you know how you guys got the iPads and you're doing the levels and all that shit. Fucking um, sound check, everything was cool. And now I'm supposed to go on. Three minutes supposed to go on, I'll get my ears ready and everything. Nothing. And the guy, you know what he said? He came over there and he goes, I vowed. Next time, one of you sound men that has an iPad in your hand and you give me this, I'm going to take the iPad out of your hand and I'm going to spike it like I made a touchdown. Nigga, right in the middle of the floor. Just like, because you don't fucking need it. If you can't, because one of your things as a sound man is you're supposed to do, you're supposed to be this. I think a troubleshooter, can you go into that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> part of be doing it being sound man, Fuck you know, <laughs> you have to. You have to uh, you have to be able to troubleshoot. That's a uh, you know seventy five percent of the job. You know, if you can't troubleshoot, you've got no you've got no work in this business because shit goes wrong all the time. And all what sets time. you what sets you apart is when you're able to fix the shit. You know, right away. Yeah, just fix the shit. And I've seen this man do that so far. And um, here's the other part. I'm gonna end it with this one because I know you're busy and there's all kind of shit going on here tonight. But um, are there any, is there any artists that you've worked with and toured around with that after doing it, you don't like them? After doing it, I don't like them? Man, uh, nah, nah. nah. We're, we're cool. We're, so, far, cool. So, good. so far, so good. Okay. Yeah. Not because um, I'm not going to mention his name, Josh, but uh, 
But he said that after dealing with some artists, he don't like he don't listen to their music no more. I could believe that with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I got no bad bad blood. I don't hold grudges. One thing um, I want to say, uh, YG Four Hundred, one of my um, favorite big artists right now. That's like a big gangster rapper dude doing the thing. What you got to say about YG? YG's a homie, man. I love him. I love doing sound for him. That's what's up. And he like it loud. You got to turn it down a little bit, bro. But, hey, you you do what you want. You do what you want. You know how you like shit. Is he very particular? Like myself, uh, Roy try to say, I remind, okay. Roy try to say, I remind him of YG's uh, homie Slim. Do you agree? Absolutely. 100% Slim. Why? Your bulge is wild, man. You got your characters. It's great. <laughs> he said I'm wild. I don't know about that. All right, anyway, though, much love. I'm looking forward to getting on the road with you. I'm going to stay up and make more, make sure motherfuckers stay alive. You please get some sleep. Absolutely. Because you got to, yeah, I know it's hard to do, but try to get some sleep while I'm up in the captain's chair with Josh and Thanks for taking care of us and thanks for looking out. And please watch that goddamn feedback, dude, because I hate fucking monitors. Them niggas want to hear me in the monitors, but I'm like, nigga, fuck that. You know my raps, nigga, though. You don't need to hear me. I can hear me. Yeah. I hate that monitor niggas, man. No, get step your game up. Get some in-ears, bro. It's time to do it. And uh, shout out to uh, Paul, the man. What you got to say about what you got to say about Paul? Paul is the man. 100%. He's uh he's taught me everything I know. He's got me into the business. He uh he's my mentor. What can I say? Explain who Paul is. Paul is Tyler <clears throat> Paul Wickman is Tyler the creator's front of house and uh tour manager. He's ours. But Tyler stole him. Yep, Tyler stole him. He was with the Legends first. Uh but now I'm with the Legends because of him. Like that. See we all share. We all share. Yeah. Not not girls and dudes, but <laughs> Well, I don't know. Some people might. I don't know. Okay. Uh, by the end of the tour, I'm going to get this man some pussy. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks for saying. Much love, dude.